EA Sports coverage of the National Football League comes to you from Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Today we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Detroit Lions. The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go and we are underway here at Ford Field. And from his own end zone, Alante Taylor will return it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Carr right away going to look to throw. And gets it complete to A.T. Perry. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And a nice little start as he's able to get this up to the 28. On first and 10, here's Carr. This is Carr. Camara, 28 yards. And the Saints need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. The three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game, and they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 22. Four out. We're good. We're good. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he is going to lose yardage here. Back to throw. Gone. He's airing it out for Williams. Boy tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Saints are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On second down, Kamara. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Throwing on first down is Carr. Over the middle, complete. That's Johnson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara, and he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two yards still to go, third down now. To throw, it's caught. That is caught. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different 
situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. On second down, here's Carr, eluding the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Derek Carr, a 22-yard scamper. And the Saints have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. So the point after, good by Groupie. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? To throw on second down is gone. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and seven. Gone. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Lonnie Johnson picks it. And the Saints are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara, two yards the loss, second and 12. Here's Carr, sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. The defender couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On third down, here's Kamara. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. First down. Flushed out right. Oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Will Harris. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. So they'll get another shot on offense following that 
pick six, and now the kick is away. Taylor now from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They had two tight ends in the formation on that when it looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. To throw his car. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. I don't care what level of football you played. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone would come free. A first down carry now for Miller. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now a play fake. Carr. They'll roll him out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one's designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. something here on third down. Throwing now is Carr. Steps away to it. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Alex Anzalone able to get outside the numbers and drop him for a loss of a yard. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage? What do you do with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. And this one is right down the middle. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. So after the field goal, back out his groupie to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with it. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Now 
a second and ten. Hey, kill, kill! They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. That's caught. It's Sam Laporta. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. Second and nine now. Throw left side, caught by LaPorta. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Out of the gun, gone. Into space at the 45. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And yet again, Goff is intercepted. Lonnie Johnson picks it. Pass the 20. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Miller is in. Touchdown, New Orleans. Groupie for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's gone. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Through the middle of the field. And he is going to have the Lions first down. And that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give him a new set of downs. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Throwing again is gone. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Badgley able to punch this one through, and that will do it for this first half.
Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, if they have any designs of getting back into this football game in the second half, they're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. On fourth down, golf. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore, and he is going to get...